Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Brophy Hitch Stair with two steps for your two inch trailer hitches right here at eTrailer.com. So let's say you have a lifted truck high up off the ground and you just need an extra height or traction to lift things into your truck bed. Or maybe you have an SUV with kayaks on top or a roof basket. And again, you need that extra height and traction to get that cargo onto your roof. That's where a hitch step like this can come in handy. So I've tried a bunch of hitch mounted steps, mainly because I need that extra height and traction to get the cargo onto the roof or into the truck bed or on ladder racks. So let's take some measurements to see if this is the right one for you. Different trucks sit differently on the ground. So we're gonna measure from your hitch receiver. So that bottom lip of your hitch receiver to the top step is going to be a three inch drop. So three inches below your hitch receiver. Now from the bottom step to the top step, it's going to be 11 inches. And then from the top of your hitch receiver to the top of the step, it's gonna be five and a quarter inches. The steps are 17 inches wide and six inches deep. There are slight grippies on the step, so nothing abrasive or anything, but just enough to give you a little extra traction as you step on it. This does have a weight capacity of 250 pounds. So remember, that weight capacity includes both you and the cargo you're carrying. So if you're carrying something heavy, don't forget that 250 pound capacity. Now, if you want to use these steps with your tailgate down, you are going to have to pick up the Brophy hitch extender. That way you have that full connection there to still load things up with your truck, even with a tailgate down. So this is going to fit into your two inch hitch receivers. I know there's trucks out there that have the two and a half inch or three inch hitch receivers. You may need to use an adapter sleeve for that. Now let's take a look at how I installed it. So you can actually pick where this sits inside of your hitch receiver. You have one, two, three holes here, and they are three inches apart. So whether you want a three inch extension, six inch or nine inch extension, go ahead, pick one, and line that up with your hitch pin hole. Because of the spare tire in the back of our truck, we can only use the first hole. So we're just gonna line that up and then secure it. To secure it, you're gonna to need to use a 5 8 pin and clip. This does not have a pin and clip included. You can pick an extra one up right here at each trailer so that you're ready ahead of time. And just like that, you've installed your hitch mounted two steps. So that was super quick, super easy. Could take about a minute and a half as long as you have your pin and clip on hand. So my thoughts on the Brophy hitch steps is I like how they have two steps. I've tried some other hitch steps where just a single step that you add on real quick. This one gives you a little bit of extra height, extra traction to get that cargo up onto your roof or on your ladder rack or in your truck bed. The downside is it is a little on the wobbly side because you're just using a hitch pin to tighten it down. I know some people that use a separate hitch collar or a hitch tightener, that could be an option for you. I didn't notice anything extremely wobbly once you start walking or stepping on it though, so I think it's gonna be perfectly fine the way it is. Hopefully the measurements and dimensions I gave you help you figure out if it's gonna be a good fit for you and your truck. But this right here was a look at the Brophy hitch mounted steps with two steps right here at eTrailer.com. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.